Hey kiddo, it's Handsome Jack here. You're listening to Start Replay. Pushy Snuggle Bites is my main squeeze. I thought I would take some time away from battling Dr. Nefarious and introduce a brand new Start Replay podcast. Presumably because you have half a brain in your head. <laughs> okay, kisses. Hello and welcome to episode 10 of the Start Replay podcast. I'm Josh Ball and with me tonight is Fred Spears. Hello. And Richard Evans. Mm, special guest. Yeah. <laughs> How are you guys today? Good, yeah. Doing well? Mm, special. We're special. <laughs> we've, been, sure. we've been playing a little bit of um, Call of Duty Zombies. Oh, Exo yeah. Zombies. Good fun. I aced it. Yeah. Aced it by downing on the ground quite a few times. <laughs> meant to do, but right? to be fair, you did then give it to Freya and she d- got down more than you. Yeah. That's what we meant to do, right? Giggity. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's the aim of the game, basically. Um, what we're going to be talking about this podcast, we're going to be talking a little bit about... A bit about this, a bit about that. Bit, that's quite vague, but that helps <laughs> for my description of the podcast. Might as well ever make a podcast. I think I said that before in previous podcasts. Yeah, a little bit about this, a little bit about that. A little bit of it, a little bit of that. <laughs> Put in a pot, merge it together, brew up a nice little podcast. Yeah, that's it. Um, too many chefs in the kitchen, etc. Yeah. I did go and play three hours of Boardlands Remastered the other day, which is very cool. Unfortunately, you guys weren't there. Joel was. Um, and he... It was four-player split-screen, so it was all over the place, and it was utter mayhem, and it was just... Everything was happening at once. But me and Joel also went around Windsor Castle. Oh, sure. Yeah. From your it's Instagram the first posts. time that I've been to Windsor Castle. Because we went for my birthday mm-hmm. last year. Yeah. And we didn't take the remote things. We regretted it. Did you take them? The yes, we was did. Was it any good? Oh, we were, we were on the ball. We had, um, <laughs> uh, is it Prince Philip or whatever his name is? What, was he in a... What? Was no, it, on the audio the tour. tour. Yeah, um, was he annoying yeah. it? Um, well, there was... Jokes. Is it for, the one who speaks very old? Is that, is so, that Prince Philip? Yeah. I Prince, keep, Prince P. Yeah. Uh, so he well, just introduced it. was like, oh, Windsor Castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is this and that. This is my house. Steeped don't inherited. Don't steal anything. Yeah, don't steal any muskets <laughs> or blah, blah, blah. And it was, it was quite cool. Yeah, and, and we... My granddad apparently did scaffolding on Windsor Castle once. We did see some scaffolding there. It wasn't then, it was years well, back. Well, we, there's still scaffolding. Still, he forgot to take it down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then he said he went off and used the Queen's toilet. I think he just used a toilet and without any Sure, it was the Queen's. Did you go to the doll's house in there as well? We did. Yeah, we yeah. went oh, the pikey yeah, way around. Yeah. We went in the exit because the queue was so long. So we were like, let's just go in the exit. And they were like, get the fuck well, out. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I had, the, I had my phone out at one point because I was checking press releases. Um, and I was just checking and said, excuse me, sir, no phones allowed. I was like, oh, oh oh, Prince sorry. Said that, <laughs> <So I'm, laughs> one of, well, one of the people, you know, the, the people around the outside, mm. around the outside, one of the people around the outside. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were just there and they were sort of like, no phones allowed. I was like, well, I'm only checking press releases. I'm not taking pictures of all this old stuff. Yeah. But then later on, Joel did find this cool, like, Gatling gun thing, which he, <laughs> which looked like it was out of the order. And then he decided to take a picture. I was like, no, Joel, they're behind you, they're behind you. And I went, no, it'll be fine. And then then came over and and he was like, "Uh, sir, sir, no photography, please. And I'm like, yeah, sucker, you got caught. I remember when I went, I lost my family. Right there. Oh, what, did I, they die? No, they oh, just, <laughs> I remember when I went there, like, I lost my family. <laughs> yeah, they, they got shot by a Gatling gun. Ooh. No, they just walked off in some other room and I didn't know where they went, so I just went and stood with the Japanese tourists. Yeah, no, we were lucky. Because it was rather quiet that day. Oh, when I went to a Japanese tourist, there were American tourists, Italians. There were everyone. Yeah, there were. No, there wasn't any Italians. Oh well, there were quite a few. No, I didn't see you can yet. tell, and I'm. I don't know how to word this without being racist, but you can tell when, you know, you see a lot of people from Europe, and they, they're all wearing like Nike oh, shoes yeah. and, and mm. glossy puffer jackets yeah. and. They're all very tall as well compared and to, and they're very pretty. And into Milan t shirts. See, that's a good compliment to put in there amongst, <laughs> amongst the racism. You can tell they're, they're bloody foreigners because of all this, but they're very pretty. No, no, you I don't. You can tell they're not from the UK because they're attractive. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, that's it. No, that's, that's pretty. You've hit the nail on the head there, Richard. I'm the exception. Mm, yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> Keep thinking that. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, you will be able to see a photo of Richard. Um, he's probably going to be in between so me and Freya. So opinions in the comments, so mm-hmm. <laughs> tell us whether... I will come yes, your please. house and break your bloody <laughs> kneecaps. But we did say that you, you looked Swedish when we were on at Gamescom, because your hair was a lot longer, and you looked so yeah, you Swedish. Could look, yeah. so you, you could look like you had a sausage or two. I'll show it to Josh. <laughs> one picture of what? 
You're looking Swedish. Yeah, yeah. like super Swedish. You got it in your wallet. I want. Oh yeah. Um, I still got that. Yeah, that's pretty Swedish. <laughs> yeah. Can you speak any Swedish? Can you do the accent of a Swedish person? Guten Tag. That's uh, German. More German. The yeah. German. <laughs> arigato. Oh, okay. I, sh- I showed that Same. picture to somebody at work, and they said you look really Swedish. So yeah. everybody says I look Swedish. Maybe you should go to IKEA. And work there. IKEA. Have the Walking. meatballs. Oh, the meatballs. You know what we need to do? We all need to go to IKEA. Where should you do? On the train, Southampton, or, or South get Joel to drive us. They're building one in Reading, where yeah, the I'll old bowling the alley was. Oh wow. Yeah, but pfft. so we go to Southampton. Mm-hmm. We all go and have meatballs, and it's like a day out. We actually should do that because I need some go. frames from IKEA. There That's we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> got it sorted now guys <laughs> and then we can yeah we have our f- Swedish companion you can get us like discount or something they'll be like mm. honk, 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 honk. yeah that's yeah. Pro- that's probably real Swedish so I'm not again being racist in no. any way whatsoever um, we, I'm pretty sure you said an impression of the Swedish chef so yeah exactly honk, 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 honk. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it games what's been going down in gaming over the last week Metal Gear Solid the release date has been announced for Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. Was I, I meant to be covering that. that and then you covered it instead? I covered it, yeah. yeah I just got out of the way. Insane. Also Mad Max. Mad Max, which I wrote something about. It's coming out on the same week. Or same day. It's coming out on the same week. Cause they, Today? Uh, they announced a, it was a pre-order mm, bonus. Hmm, I think same day in America and then the same week overall because oh, it's okay. a few days later Fair in Europe. And okay. the other news release this week has been... Well, it would be last week when this podcast comes out. Was the... Wolfenstein The Old Blood that's what it's called mm. the uh, standalone prequel to Wolfenstein The New Order which looks very good yeah I really like that because you didn't you play like Wolfenstein The New Order yes I did yeah, I really liked it do you like it I loved it the style of it was brilliant yeah the music and everything and it, it just felt really old school in the gameplay and mm. they were yeah looked really cool so I'm looking forward to diving back into the uh, monstrosity of mm. uh, Wolfenstein have you played Wolfenstein I didn't play it myself no I watched my dad he was too protective over it. Oh, right. He didn't want me to spray me anything. I mean, so. which which Wolfenstein is this? The Order. Oh, is it The Order. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah. I thought it was like when you're a kid. It's like, no, he's too protective over me. He just wouldn't <laughs> let me play the game. <laughs> no, he's too protective over his game this time. He's like, no, oh, I'm not right. letting you ruin anything. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I did a really like wacky video of uh, playing you're doing The all your Order. Voices. Doing lots of voices. And I said and you should do some more, and then it went on never. from that. Yeah, it never really happened. <laughs> you did, well, you did some more voices. You, you've been doing Kermit. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been doing Kermit, and well, really Kermit's been doing me. Us. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, has he? Yeah. Ooh. Usually, you have to put your hand up. Uh, up him. Yeah. But he's been putting his hand up me. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Playing you wow. like a puppet. <laughs> the nice. Call of Duty heists is out in two days. Call of Duty heists. Wow. Um, yeah, Call of Duty heists. <laughs> I don't know. Not getting heists. Yeah, yeah. Call of Duty heists. Um, it's the new expansion. Call of Duty will get heist before GTA. <laughs> yeah, actually, will. <laughs> this rate. As I was saying, Fred, maybe you should take over. What's happening um, exactly? Oh, um, Tuesday. Yeah. It's, I think it's a four gigabyte download. It's for the... GTA. Yes, GTA. Yes, not yes. Call of Duty. This, this, this podcast from. comes out on Wednesday, so it'll be yesterday the heist came out though. Yeah. Ooh. So I must oh, say, I've, those I've, heists are amazing, yeah. aren't they? I've really been enjoying those heists, <laughs> even though. <laughs> I, I was in Derby when when they came out. <laughs> I'll be playing on Xbox so we can all play together. Oh, you know. Yeah, I downloaded nice. the update the other day for the online because I was like, like, no doubt there's going to be a, an mm. update for Call of Duty. Um, so yeah, you could be playing on Xbox, Rich. Yep. Um, J- Joel I've, has I've it as well, right? Yes, yes. and Theo and. Wow, so we're all going to be Sam, playing. But well, most it's of only us. Four pair, playing. isn't it? And is it? Yeah, four pair. And you have to designate one person as your team leader, mm. and basically they're the only person with that save data. So it should probably be somebody who's on quite a lot. It's probably not me. Me. Probably not Richard. Well, I'm always on. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Not during the day. So it'd probably be Shut Josh up. or Joel. Well, I'm not, I'm not really on the time job version. Oh, yeah, you're not on Xbox. Yeah, probably Joel then. But you get to designate what other people have to do right so, so one person get gets the money hours, basically and one person like is your getaway driver and yeah then one and then person one person is... has to shoot down the choppers and one person oh, wow. has to like guard you while you go into the building it's really cool i'll um, buy the stuff and they've got a load of um bonuses and stuff so basically i think there's one where you get 10 million dollars if you complete all five heists without dying with the same team 
Wow. That's not going to happen. No, it's never going to happen, but... That might happen. <laughs> we should try. It we should won't. definitely try for that. I think we've got the teamwork involved to do that. Yeah, if there's us... Yeah, yeah, we can do, we can do that. We, we can't. No, we can't. But um, there, What, what do you mean we can do that? Well. We've already done it. It came out oh, yesterday. Yeah, sorry. Come on. Okay. We just... Try not like, to give away too much. Up all night, yeah? <laughs> From midnight to... Yeah, I remember. <laughs> to lunchtime, just doing heists. And we're all there, like, yeah. itching and sort of like... I need to rob a little bank now. <laughs> I took my Scoda. Xbox all the way to my Hilton hotel and I was up all night playing. <laughs> um, there are away. also ah. a couple... Oh, I wrote about them. I can't remember how many. I think there were three other ones where it's just like a million dollars each for doing it with the same team. Wow. Um, you could buy a tank. There were two other things that were really random. But yeah, there were a lot of bonuses on it. So I'm thinking we're going to be pretty balling after we've done that. As long as we do it properly. <laughs> we hope. Anyway. Hopefully, yeah. So all everybody else. Oh, well, and you, always, you get a bonus for completing all five missions as well, which uh, is kind of easy. Well, I think that'll be the first time I've actively engaged. Well, I, I say that before Christmas, I did do quite a bit of GTA Online. But mm. now I'll, you know, hopeful, hopeful that some teamwork will come out of it. Although I'll yeah. probably try and sabotage all of you and put sticky, like... I don't know, stick like C4 and everything and oh, be gosh. like, all right, guys, yeah, I'm in the car. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Boof. <laughs> That's why we're not going to do a more without dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I did. Now, of course, most of you know I've been sending brownie care packages to a lot of publishers oh, yeah. in the gaming industry. I sent some to Rockstar and I actually put in there at the end of the letter. I said, uh, I was thinking of delaying these in respect to the oh, no. GTA heists, but I... <laughs> I resisted. <laughs> so. And they banned your uh, Xbox One. <laughs> yeah, yeah hopefully, hopefully there was at least a bit of a chuckle there. But it's been a long time because they said it would be out yeah. shortly after release, right? Yeah, year they and a half. They said it was going to be out on release pretty much. Yeah. And then they were like, oh yeah, first update in the new year. Then that what? didn't happen. And then it was the first update. Then they left it for a while, didn't they, in the well, summer? Then they said, oh, it's going to come then out with Christmas. next gen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was next gen. They then, that? then first update for next gen. Yeah, then that was Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> then it was early this year, like on New Year's, that is when you'll get your update. And That's now they've actually released it, which is quite nice. But I, I'm still like, no, nah, it's not going to happen. Or something's going to go wrong, like GTA Online did. Yeah. I remember how wrong that went. Well, that so maybe nice. they're trying to, you know, take a... They're trying to just have the best experience. Hopefully it won't be and, like Halo. And, yeah. you know... Yeah, I, re- I hope so. I hope I mean, imagine if works. you're working on something like that and you're like, yeah, no, it'll be out soon. And then you're like, oh, crap, we really need to... Um... Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad they have to date it if that's the case that it's actually going to work. I'm just scared that it isn't again. But, yeah, hopefully it will. Uh, what else has been going down? So, I've been playing Borderlands. You've been playing, you say, Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike, yeah. Yeah. What do you think of all this Steam news being announced recently? Like oh, um, the, um, Steam boxes and Steam controllers and Steam Chromecast devices being announced, etc., yeah. etc. Et I really have not been up cool. to date. I don't know. They're cheap. They're worth the money. Maybe this will be the time that I actually get like a Steam box and I yeah. play Counter Strike. Oh, you actually you. should. Imagine oh my god, that. that'd be so much. You should actually do that, please. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, that'd be so uh, funny. I don't know. You could run it on your Mac. I'm not you entirely could, you sure. Could, yeah. You could run it on your Mac. Well, one of the main like things I'm really excited about are like, did you see Valve's headset, like virtual reality headset they're doing mm. with HTC? No, I didn't. Yeah, so there's HTC a VR headset. HTC represent? Pretty much. <laughs> mm-hmm. So there's a virtual reality headset they've got, which will work with the Steam box. Oh, cool. Um, which is quite cool. Imagine Counter-Strike Go oh like, with virtual reality I'm and so I'm looking around <laughs> like running around and I'm like <laughs> so I've never crazy. played it before and all, but also there's that steam controller which has sort of like these oh, yeah. m- like weird touch pad things and an I don't analog know how stick well and they're gonna work it's received mixed uh, receptions from people mm. I don't think many people buttons. play mm. like FPS's on steam though which is probably the game which most benefits from a uh, I don't know. headset the only games I play on steam are FPS's apart from so five. Yeah, you only play CSGO. Yeah, but we played like Just Cause and stuff. Oh no, they were third person, weren't they? That's third person. I think the only reason I might get a Steam box is if Valve make an exclusive game for it. And then I'm just like, okay, well, I have to buy this because Half Life 3 is out on it. Oh, yeah, did you see about um, I doubt they'd do that. Half Life? They're just a bit, they're being really vague about it. Like somebody what? interviewed somebody and it was like, oh, we don't actually know what we're doing with it. So basically, they, they're not making anything at the moment. Yeah, I think, um, yeah. They must be, though. Well, I. They would sell so well. Uh, yeah, like, why wouldn't but, they? 
they've it's just been the I I don't know I don't know what it's like <laughs> at Valve you know I mean they yeah. they're working on all this like steam boxes and everything else and I don't know they've got a few teams in the background making games and yeah they haven't the last time they released a game I mean aside from like the PC stuff well, the major one was Portal Two yeah. Wasn't I it, like I Portal. Think. Portal's good. And that was amazing. Mm-hmm. And they, you know, more than likely working on Left Dead 3 or Portal 3 or, God forbid, Half-Life 3. Who knows? Have you seen the speed runs of Portal and Portal 2? No. Like, they use all the glitches and they can like they run backwards oh, right. and they're crouching everything. And they, like, they keep, in one speed run, they completed three levels in about one second. What? what? Yeah, just by glitching through. Wow. Sam showed me a speed run of it and they did the entire game in eight minutes. Wow. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. That's quite cool. Of course Theo got a shield tablet thing oh, recently. Yeah, he did. So he can stream really cool. his Steam games on it, right? Yeah, yeah, basically. What I mean, how could you how I don't know if I'd want to play Well, you just have to plug stuff in, don't you? Like can you can plug like mouse or mice? Like, oh I don't can know. Can you? I don't I haven't seen him actually play on it, but I was kinda of thinking like uh I like, the, just play on my computer, I like the one that they released, the NVIDIA one, which is like a like portable thing with a screen coming up and a controller built into it. Have you seen that before? I have seen that, yeah. So it's like a controller with a screen attached to it. Oh, that's cool. So you can play like some games, which I prefer because I would actually play games on my mobile or games like on the what, commute. Like, like what you can do with the Xperia phones, like, or is it literally just like... Well, is it like is a it main controller? And yeah, no, I think it's stuck to a oh, screen that okay, you just fold cool. up. I oh, think it came cool. out quite a while ago, but it's is interesting. But then again, I'm all console based, mm. so you know, um, Zombie Army Trilogy. Who anyone has anyone played Zombie Army Trilogy before? Nope. Oh, okay. I've heard of it. Which That's is a PC surprising. thing, apparently, and now it's yeah. out on PlayStation Four and Xbox One. I saw. I read a bit about it. But I haven't played it yet, no. but apparently it's quite good online. Um, what else has been going down? I feel like it's been a sparse news week. Yeah, it has. It has. Ever since Madonna today. fell off that stage. Oh, God. It's just... The game world has just stopped. Everything has stopped. <laughs> Rest in pieces. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, uh, yeah, aside from some cool games I'm going to be playing over the next week that I can't really talk about yet. Uh, mm. And uh, what else? Well, maybe I can talk about them. Because I think... Wednesday it will be out, so maybe... Um, yeah, when are you playing? No. Hmm. No, the embargo's on the 14th. Aww. Say no, sorry. Podcast. Sorry for those listening. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had to start replay.com on the 14th, then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So it'll be cool. Um, also going to the video game Kirby BAFTAs game. at uh, Tobacco Dock. I who? I am. What? Get to rub shoulders of all the famous people. Well, like I say famous people. It's Julia just Hardy devs. And well, it's oh, just, so cool. just devs and things. So it's games. It's game related. Yeah. I doubt they're going to have all the other celebrities though. although Rufus Hound is going to be hosting it is he? Um, he's a comedian yeah who was a comedian who I vaguely have seen before he used to be on Celebrity Chiefs yes yeah no he did didn't he um, so that's going to be cool um, that's so cool see what happens there also seeing some Sony stuff at the end of the month which again I don't think I can talk about yet oh new Spider-Man film yeah yeah that's what I'm saying I'm seeing the new Spider-Man film. I'm, I, I'm, yeah so it's two years away but I'm seeing the new seeing Spider-Man Captain film. America uh, Civil War yeah that's it that's what I'm saying because that's Sony related have you seen <laughs> well it kind of will be when some Spider-Man's in it have, have you seen the uh, trailer for Avengers the no, latest one I haven't, but I haven't seen any of the Avengers trailers somebody I think it might have been IGN though they put Spider-Man they put in it they put Spider-Man in it and it looks brilliant <laughs> no I, I started watching like the first five seconds but then I realised it was footage from the next film next Avengers film and I haven't watched any trailer for it I've obviously caught glimpses of things in mm. the background of adverts and things I'm like no 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 I don't want to see any of that because it'll, it'll just you slap your face yeah that's what I do slap your face Richard had a little stroke then apparently oh god you slap yourself there we yes, go in the yeah. face so you can't see it yeah. that really was not worth the effort <laughs> it was like The Dark Knight Rises before that came out I I think I saw the first trailer and that was it and I found it really hard to not see anything for it because it's such a big movie so you're bound yeah. to see something yeah. whether it's in adverts online or you know something else um, so I'm just pour myself some Pepsi here but have you oh, seen uh, Hugh Jackman's he's been saying how he wants Wolverine yeah. to be in the Avengers now I'm sure he does with all and the money involved 
I, I think he really loves the character as well, though, to be fair. No, yeah, he has expressed, uh, especially after watching Birdman. Yeah. With how he yeah, said he wants has to anyone play seen character Birdman the here? Have you no, seen Birdman? But do you know the. Uh, I know the premise. Premise of like it's, a, it's an actor who did lots of superhero movies and then stopped. As Michael Keaton did. As Michael with Keaton with Batman, Batman and, oh. and, and his life as an actor after then. And, you know. That's cool. How everyone's like, oh, make another Birdman or, or whatever, you know, make another film. Mm. Um, and I think yeah, I don't know but maybe it would open Hugh Jackman's eyes maybe I, it did I'd love to see Wolfman in w- the Avengers yeah it'd be brilliant mm. Mm. it doesn't really fit in that universe though because he tends to swear in the film sometimes what up Bob I'm gonna fucking kill you with my knife hands yeah. mm. that's probably what it'll do well, he basically. cameo in first class didn't he where Magneto and um, oh, yeah, they came the same and he's like goes, fuck off fuck off <laughs> And then in the second film, when he, when Hugh Jackman's actually in it properly, yeah. and he goes to find them, and he says, um, the guy who's playing it, Professor Xavier, goes, I'm going to see what you said to us when we came up to you. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> um, which, I, which I loved. That was really good. Mm. Yeah, I like that film. They had a lot of these sort of characters they hadn't put in X Men before, like. Uh, yeah, Bishop. let me turn your mic around a little bit. Oh, hello! Lovely. There you go. It's better. <laughs> Got to hear Richard now. That's yeah. what everyone wants. <laughs> Yay, Richard! Yay. Insert applause from children. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Stop applause. What? Hey, how you, how you doing? Not that close. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to you in your ears. Oh God. Oh God, no. Taking you to dream down. Hmm. Hmm. There's a chance someone from 2K who I met the other day who's the events coordinator, might be listening to this. Hello. So, Hi. hello. His name's Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? And if I got your name wrong, You didn't then... respond. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Chris, yeah. Hey, Chris. How are you doing? Uh, and, of course, I can't uh, tell how you're doing from uh, <laughs> here because you're not here. So, uh, tweet me at RootGrapefruit9 on Twitter with, uh, your, with your response. He listens to podcasts on his commute to 2K. So, oh, wow. I hope your commute's going well, mate. Mm. Pick up the pace. I think you're late. <laughs> oh god I'm late uh, <laughs> Marty get the time machine we're going back in time oh, to god. escape these Libyan terrorists yeah <laughs> mm. it's a dated reference some would say dated but if you have a time machine it's mm. and again Libyan terrorists yeah no, that's true I saw Claptrap the other day oh. he didn't have any arms oh. but I met him that's so sad he's kind of tiny he was, about, <laughs> he was about that big which is quite cool and and when you put him on the ground, because he only has one wheel, he sort of like get, sets himself first, and it's weird because you put it on the ground, and it looks as though he's gonna fall over immediately. He's sort of like shuffling backwards and forwards. Of course, I'm talking about the claptrap that you can get with the collector's edition or claptrap in a box edition of Borderlands: A Handsome Collection for PlayStation Four and Xbox One. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Borderlands, claptrap isn't a trap to give you chlamydia. Because of course, chlamydia's Ooh. nickname is Clap. It is. So yeah, it's the Clap. So oh, it's, okay. it's not a trap to give you chlamydia. Mm. <laughs> mm. Cool. And he didn't. Well, he didn't have his voice activated, but he was just like there, on a space, and he was like shuffling backwards and forwards. And I was like, oh look, it's so cute. Look at that. Oh. Mm. So that was really cool. I look forward to actually like having him, it's all to myself. Mm. Unbox him, and I'll be sort of like Caress. propping him up, <laughs> caress him. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that, the experience we've had, or you two had, with Call of Duty Exo Zombies. And oh, yeah. of course we're playing on Havoc for PlayStation 4, hence why we're a little late talking about it. I died. it came out at the end of January for Xbox. I died. Oh, yeah. You did die. Freya died. Yeah. I did. You died. I died at the end. Mm. But yeah, I, I did find the glitch, nice which there is, where you can yeah. just like go into like this vent Should area. Should I have to the exosuit to do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was just... I've ruined that for everybody because I couldn't have even got up there anyway. Yeah. When I was oh okay, my bad. Oh, that's all right. Should. That's all right. I'm sure we'll be able to reach <laughs> round twenty on our next go. Um, but what did you think? Good fun. Of yeah. it. Preferred it when I had the exo suit. Yeah, oh, having yeah, the exo suit does Got to help. Do all me jumping. Mm-hmm. Jump, have jumping up here, jumping up there. Quite, it's quite difficult. The dogs are creepy as hell. Reminds me of What's the, like the hellhounds. <laughs> The hellhounds from the other from zombie ones, where everything yeah, yeah. would go like foggy, and they'd yeah, be like yeah. that. Oh, oh god, they're coming! They're coming! Hide, hide, hide! Okay, Bob, I've got my knife hands ready. Wolverine, what are you doing here? 
I'm here. <laughs> Hello, I'm Wayne Rooney. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's not skit time yet, but uh, soon, soon we will see what might happen with our skit. Story Wayne, play story Wayne Rooney time. would be good in zombies, though, because did you see uh, he was challenged oh, by a WWE wrestler, well, a WWE wrestler from Preston called Wade Barrett, who supports Preston North End. He was watching the Preston versus. I think versus I've been told that I look like Wade Barrett a little bit. You do a bit actually. I don't know if you grew, if you grew, you've got the right sort of nose. Yeah. So from his nose is broken. Oh. Mm. So if you, if one of you wants to break my nose. Yeah, I'll do it in a bit, mate. All right, cool. Yeah, he challenged Wayne Rooney to a wrestling match because he said Wayne Rooney dived in the in the match between <laughs> Preston and Man U. <laughs> and then Wayne Rooney said, "Yeah, I'll get Stone Cold Steve Austin out, and we'll we'll have a match with you." Well, so just so, like a three-way match. Uh, Wade Barrett and somebody Steve else on oh. Wade Barrett's side. He is really hench. Who? Who? Wade Barrett. Yeah. yeah he's an ex bear knuckle Yeah, boxer. so obviously I need to become a little hencher <laughs> as well. Need to well. do a bit of bare knuckle boxing. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, pretty much. I'm like a a small Wade Barrett. Well, I'm going to watch WWE at the O2 next month, so I'll print oh, really? out a picture of your face. <laughs> I'll I'll run into the uh, the ring when Wade Barrett's having hold it up and take a picture. My friend Chris Fox has just become the or had got the chance to be the announcer for 2K for the WrestleMania thing that's going on somewhere. Okay. I'm not too sure where it is or what's happening with it, but he released some videos on uh, YouTube of him wanting to do the presenting thing. And it's just these really funny, really short videos of him like uh, interviewing people, and it's really stupid, really silly, and there's one with a dog in it. And he's like, <laughs> who do you think needs to win? No, no, no. And he's like, arr, arr, arr. And like it's just... It's ridiculous, but really, really funny. Well, I think Freya and I should have been wrestlers because uh, oh, we we did a video mm. a while ago with mm. Joel. Mm. But we made private well, the day after we unloaded. Yeah, that I was, remember. That was we did wrestling. Why did we do I, that? I remember it was really annoying because I had to guide Joel and Freya through how to wrestle. And, uh, <laughs> well, there there were lots of explosions, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, Joel was like, "I'm going to over edit this to how it just made it, it even like, worse." <laughs> <laughs> and they were like running down this garden. That was good fun, but we should not have filmed that. We should have done, not be out You should have did what I did. I wore masks during the whole video. <laughs> That's my mistake. Nice. So I had a wrestling mask. <laughs> Luchador mask. I'm not much of a re- wrestling fan, to be fair. I remember meeting one of the producers on one of these like wrestling games. And the only good memories I have of playing wrestling games are on the N64 <laughs> and staying up to like five in the morning because we're in a cage match and you had to wait for the like furniture to come out. Oh, like yeah. uh, ladders oh, and chairs. Wait for it to come out. I think so. Wow. I don't know. I was a kid, so I have no idea what, <laughs> how we managed to get ladders and chairs in the match. But we were like, "Oh my god, there's a chair! There's a chair!" <laughs> you like hit someone over the head. I just remember like waking up and then falling back to sleep because um, those are the really only exciting moments I've had. Unfortunately, yeah. I did get it actually on the new one on Xbox 360. Um, two K fifteen. Yeah, two K fifteen. Mm. I bought that on for uh, we Xbox buy... One. No, we got 2K14, didn't we? Yeah, we did some funny we vids on that. Off, we? we should all get 2K15, we can do more vids. That's true, we should. I also got Tropico 5 and the crew. Yeah, how's the crew? Um, <laughs> Very much. I've only played half an hour on the PlayStation <laughs> really? 4 version, <laughs> and it's alright. Oh, you've got Escape as well, I don't know what that is. Escape. Escape Dead Island. It's just like a third party... Can't see the Dead Island bit. ...bit thing. Oh, I know that one. Escapist, I've just got, which is like the um, Heaven Foggiest. Uh, it's an indie like Escape from Prison type title. Mm. That actually sounds interesting. If you if you see it, you might go, actually, oh, that game. That does ring a bell. I think I know. Yeah, it came out quite a while ago. I think on PC, and then it was like oh, redone. Yeah, it rings for, a bell, and it had quite a big presence at EGX a few years ago, and blah 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 blah. Basically, which of course sounds for Eurogamer Expo. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, they're releasing tickets for that soon, aren't they? I think so. Birmingham. Tell you what, uh, Joel still needs to do: buy your uh, uh, airplane tickets for Gamescom. I know. Every day, I text him saying, "You done it?" <laughs> you want to text him now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Have you bought yours? No, not yet. I don't really know what you should do. I bought mine. I'm so needs to do that. <laughs> I'll probably do it tonight. Maybe. <laughs> I'll say that, but who knows? Who knows what we're doing? Who knows with Josh? No one does, except from me. Except from you. Yeah. Yeah. And and then again, I don't really and know. And claptrap. And claptrap. <laughs> Stairs. No. <laughs> what else has been going down in your lives, whether gaming related or not? 
Are you all STD free? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Good. No? No well, can you can they could they be were actually giving out test shot kits full at of school, STDs. and um, and they were giving you free pants with it if you took what? an STD. Yeah, basically, like they have these stalls around Running College, like free pants. Yeah, they were giving you free pants and free headphones, and I was like, I kind of want some pants, but I don't want to go up there because like nobody goes up there. Take like free pants. And they said, like, I'm free from, like, chlamydia on them or something. And I'm just, I'm not going to wear those. Well, that's welcoming to any future partners. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Joel would appreciate it. <laughs> and he'd just be like, um, yeah, at least I know now, basically. <laughs> yeah. So I'm good telling times. him why. Good times are well, Mac, these pants are, make me certain she's STD free. <laughs> oh, that's, that's really reassuring. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty funny. And so you, you also had one of my brownies the other day. Oh, yeah. Oh you liked God. it. It's like heaven. Yeah. And Richard hasn't had one yet. But there's yeah, some no. white chocolate in as well. Don't worry. I've not had mm. the privilege. I'll be giving you one of my brownies sometime, mate. Thank you. Did you follow a recipe or is it your own? Um, well, I, yeah, sort of followed a recipe. I saw somebody who was asking for the recipe. Did it on my own method that I remembered how to do it. Yeah, they were like, send the recipe. And I think that was uh, Bethesda's PR group. Should have made them blue. Breaking bad reference. Um, yeah, that would have looked a bit weird to eat. <laughs> What are these blue? Make brownies, what? What? They'd just be like really, really dark. Oh, yeah, it yeah, it'd be like really, really, <laughs> really dark. <laughs> yeah, just really dark blue. Just do a lot of combining of the food color and like terrible. <laughs> and then uh, green Try and make blue. Try orange. Mm. Start with my brownies. Oh God, God. imagine that. <laughs> and then, uh, well, I think the blue could work quite well. And then it was like, as soon as you open it, it says "Say my name," sort of like <laughs> Heisenberg does. Yep. Um, and then maybe just like. Put like a Brownies. face mask in there and just make it a bit more, you know, Breaking Bad themed. Really? Anyone been watching Better Call Saul? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Do I watch the latest Still quite one? good. Yeah. It's actually really good. I love the filming of it. Yeah. Like, I'd it, love to be able to film that. It looks amazing. great. Josh, have you been watching that new Netflix show, Unbreakable? Oh, Unbreakable. <laughs> and, uh, give me, it's a miracle. Yeah, no, I love. Well, I say I love Unbreakable, Kimmy. Schmidt. That's it. Uh,. It's strangely addictive. You know, I was watching it and I was like, this has been getting really good reviews. I'm not too sure what I think of it. It looks a bit crap. I'll probably watch it over the next few days. I've got a lot of train trips, so uh, I'll watch on the train. But the most memorable and, and addictive thing to it is the intro, where it's just like a series of images and catchy music and, and this guy well, just... You, you showed me and it does look like something out of Autotune and News. Well, I don't think I've seen oh, those right. Show mo yo ho emphasis on the oh, it's a it's a YouTube thing. Yeah. Oh right, okay. Yeah, and it, I saw someone on Twitter go, "Oh, when Breakball Kimmy Schmidt looks like a show that's been produced from the most popular tags on Netflix, <laughs> so the most yes. popular things does, yeah. that has happened on Netflix and that people are addicted so to." So the Unbreakable film with Bruce Willis was trending when they uh, probably came up with the title. probably yeah. So it includes gay guy, um, it includes a girl, it includes very colourful things, it includes uh, nonsensical humour. It includes the dress, it includes, it includes Madonna falling off a stage. Um, well, not yet, maybe, sometime soon, maybe season two. It includes Kanye West singing a lot of racist lyrics. Uh, probably season two as well, yeah. Yeah, um, what else has been trending? It includes lots it of includes racial things. Bradford City's football club's pitch. What's that was, what's really, so good about that? It's really bad. It's trending for a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. You see what? I mean, maybe we should try and get something to trend. We should actually do that, yeah. Like um, Freya's um, uh, leaked sex tape. Yes, oh. sex tape. Well, you see what we can do? We can <laughs> set up, we can stage a sex tape, Freya. So okay. actually not make it... You know, real, but okay. make it seem what, as though it's real. It, uh, did it? Uh, and it? it was gadget show. No, do you remember Eva, it? Eve, um, Eve Longoria. Eva Mendes. Eva Mendes. I think she did a thing for Funny or Die, where it was called Eva Mendes. I think it was a sex tape, and it was her. Uh, it started off looking like one, and then she pulls out like this tape, and she starts selling. It. It's like this is my sex tape, and it's just tape. <laughs> that's um, that's quite good. Yeah, but if we really want to boost our subscribers, we just make this leaked leaked sex tape. Yeah, but how would we leak a sex tape that doesn't exist? Well, we'll well, isn't we'll, we'll make be. like a, a yeah, we'll we'll make like a fake sex tape, I'm and then edit it to the point. So just take uh, some porn and put mine and Joel's faces to superimpose <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> like Joel on this massive black I'm body. Wow, good at Photoshop. 
that's uh, <laughs> and then how did you feel about being made a uh, big uh, beautiful woman oh Freya? god <laughs> please no sure not BBW <laughs> uh. this podcast has taken a turn for the worse <laughs> Um, let's try and steer it back <laughs> yeah, on track. Yeah, steer it back onto gaming. Um, well, we can make it a gangbang whilst we're at it. No. Or, uh, whilst we're at first <laughs> shopping. Uh, gaming. Gaming, gaming, gaming. <laughs> what gaming stuff's been going on? Come on. Nothing. Somebody ignite Not the fire of gaming that is games. If you're still listening to this, listen. I'm, I'm sure you're going to have a... Thinking capsule. A rollicking time for a, for, a, for a company that writes reviews on video games. Mm. We don't know much about video games at the moment. Well, there's there's not a lot happening. We've exhausted all I our stuff. I played Resident already. Evil Revelations two episode two. Oh yeah. You've got a video game poster behind you. That's video game related. There are really yep. butters pre order bags that you get with a uh, Battlefield Hardline. You know, like gym kit bags. Yeah. But they're like metallic in like green, yellow, Blech. red, but they're disgusting. Blech. They're so horrible. Like, why would you perish for that? I bought Total War Attila 2, that came out a few weeks back, sort of relevant. Um, no, no, Total War Attila, not 2. God, Silly me. Come on, Richard, you write reviews for a video game site and you can't yeah. even get things right. Yeah, I do, don't I? Come on, Jesus, yeah, man. Yeah, know my stuff. Um, I think we should all start playing Borderlands when it comes out. On, yes. like, playthroughs, because of course it's like, one to four player. What are you getting it on? PlayStation. Uh, yeah. Scrub. Yeah, sure, but split I'll, screen. I'll buy a PlayStation. Full player split screen. Absolute mayhem. That'd be fun, actually. That'd be really good fun. I think it would be. And then clap crap. Uh, clap, clap, crap. Tra- clap, clap crap. Clap crap. Can just sit with us and be really cute. <laughs> Hi, minions. <laughs> ah. Yeah, no, the, the video series, I've, I've, I'm putting some thought into that. Now we've got all these like different audio files for him. Um, well, I have a feeling like um, he, I could be in the shower and. He's with you. Yeah, no, or, or he's just is he like. Waterproof? No, no, he's not waterproof. But he could be like handing me a towel, <laughs> and then he'll just uh, he'll just be like, yeah. or something, oh, you know. Oh. And then, <laughs> yeah. And Let then, and the then, shower. and then I'm coming out of the shower, and he's like, come on, minion. And then, <laughs> no. and then, like all these funny things gonna happen. <laughs> and then he like see this girl on. He sees this girl on the street, and he's like, <laughs> and then oh, you know. And then all this he stuff. He could get a girlfriend. Oh my god. Sorry? He could get a girlfriend. He could get a girlfriend. Are you offering to be his Somehow. girlfriend for us? Somehow. You could just go around and go off the street and be like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. and then he could go past like a, a homeless person who says, you got changed. And then he's like, I got nothing. And then it just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, I think it could be really, really good. And then, yeah, he wants a girlfriend, so. So lonely. Oh, oh, that's so. Oh, mate, we can make I'm a new so series, sorry. the Unbreakable Claptrap. Yeah, no, I think um, I think that could work. Um, I'm trying to think of another good one. I was like, Hey, want to hear the new dubstep song I wrote? <laughs> 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 and he just could, he could keep doing that <laughs> as he's going down the street. <laughs> It's so good. He never stops. Looks. I know. Just like his Rolex. <laughs> I think it could work. I think we've got we we could get some really good material in there. Um, um, clap trap baking. Oh. Clap trap having a coffee. Clap trap get stolen. Club. Yeah, we could take him out to like a silent disco. It's <laughs> <laughs> like. Um. So yeah, look out for that on startreplay.com. Joel did a review of the X07 headset on Xbox One, which was hilarious because he just could not get his shit together, basically. And I was like, Joel, just what are you trying to say? I don't know. And he was like, you know, like really pissed off. And I was just really tired. And it got to like two in the morning. And yeah. And he was like, he was pulling his hair out at points. I was like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? And no, he just kept freezing. And yeah. He's like, I have to clean up a little bit. No, yeah. Yeah. It might be a shorter podcast this time, but I think it might be good. Because we've run out of stuff to talk about. Yeah. yeah. There's not a lot to talk about because... Well, there's not much on gaming. There's sort of 
Actually, all I know about other stuff that's happened geeky wise is uh, the Marvel films. Can't really think of anything else. You were saying something about um, the behind closed doors preview of Battlefront. Though. Ah, yes. Um, there was some um, behind closed doors preview of Battlefront um, shown to employees of GameSpot and things like higher ups, and apparently it got a standing ovation. Pretty sweet. Which I'm not surprised by, because. The previous games, sort of review wise, they didn't get a very good rap, did they? I don't know. I wasn't that much of a no. Battlefront guy. I'm not sure. I, I get the feeling they weren't that well received, but I really liked them. They were good games. I'm quite excited for it Lots now. Of, yeah. they haven't set a release date, have they? Um, I think it's due at the end of this year. Oh, okay. Near the film. Okay. Cool. Which makes sense. That's, yeah, that's... Talking of Star Wars, Harrison Ford had a plane crash the other day he did oh, didn't yeah. he but he managed to land it he did and he survived which is good because I think it would be a tragic day when Harrison Ford nixes it well if you remember in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade his dad Sean Connery does say do you know to fly this thing and he goes fly yes land no <laughs> but he, he did land it so uh, yeah. yeah no it's uh, he proved us wrong he proved him wrong glad he's still alive so Harrison, yeah. if you're listening to this for some weird reason and it's you know, it's yeah. popped into your ears, yes. we love you. Yeah, and send me a tweet confirming that you're okay at root grapefruit nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um I'm sorry, back back to Battlefront. Why do you think why do we think it's got a standing ovation? What's so good about it? Is well, it just like Oh my god, that was so bad. It's got the dice engine, so it looks nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well that alpha footage and stuff they showed at E three twenty thirteen through the stream. Did you see that? Yeah, it showed like, people on like a pod yeah. thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was all like, oh my god, Star Wars. And then yeah. Well, it's probably got a standing ovation because it's Star Wars. They just had to play the bloody Star probably. Wars theme tune. <laughs> <and they> went... <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Imagine, uh, imagine if they announced the new Night City Old Republic game. That would get a massive standing ovation. Are you sure? I don't even know what that I is. I love those games. Well, I love the first one. The second one. I'm it. not that familiar with it. Nope, no, no. So, Isn't it a PC game? MMO? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was on the console as well. It was made by Bioware. Mm, really? Yeah. Mm. It's a bit like Dragon Age and um, Mass Effect, but Star Wars. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Okay. Um, New Mass Effect as well. Yeah, soon. that's a long way away, but it's going to be awesome. So I got that wrong thing soon. I am looking forward to, and I know you're not PlayStation related, but they're bringing in an update, firmware update to PlayStation 4, which includes oh, yeah, suspend that. and resume. So if you're just playing a game, you can pause the game, put it into a low power state. Next time you turn your console, you'll be exactly where you left off. That's really cool. And you don't need to. You sort of do that on Xbox. As long as you don't pull the power route and you just turn it off, it'll continue letting you. Are you sure? Yeah, I've mm. never had that at all. Mm. Ever. I've like, Maybe there's I've a like, caveat to I've that. Like just I think it doesn't it just depend what game you play. Whether it just lets you. I, I pause it. NBA, turn the Xbox off, and then come back and it's middle of the game again. Okay. But don't some mm. games just do that? Like. Just let you. They just save all the way through. Like I hate. I used to hate it when games had. Well, I don't have to restart points. the game at all. It's like instantly back in the action. Hmm. Yeah, that's Interesting. Weird. I've never had that before. Well, you've taken the wind out of my sails, Richard. <laughs> um, but I'm looking forward to that coming to PS4 alongside the fact that you can assign buttons for accepting and and oh, and, and things like that, that's which good, is cool. Yeah. And like 60 FPS share play and uh, external hard drive support, which is cool, for, I, I guess. So yeah. if you want to add more stuff, it's neat. Which is neat, yeah. I find that quite cool. As I've said, cool so many times. <laughs> Let's go on to start replay story time. Try and invigorate this a little bit. You know what to do on three, one, Hang two. On. Don't we need? Don't we need our rolls first? No, we just. Oh, we just, did. just go straight in. Well, we just say no. start no. replay story time first. Location intro. Location or anything. Well, yeah, we will do that. But now we need. Okay, well let's start with the. Oh, oh, just oh. Do, do the start replay okay. story time intro. One, two, three. Start, start replay, replay story time. And uh, location. Ooh. Ah, oh, where should Try we go? Trying to think time? of something. Where I mean, last time we were train station and moon. We were in a mall and it, there were zombies and stuff. Oh, was that? Oh. That was last episode. Oh, okay, episode yeah. nine. We were in a mall and there were zombies and my friend Paul was here and Joel oh, was here and that, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So we did that. Yeah, there was another special guest. <laughs> I'm the new special guest. And 
okay, new scene, we're in a baker's. We'll see where this leads. <laughs> I'll lead. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello there. Uh, is this a bakery? Yes, it is, sir. You sell potatoes. I uh, know we have a potato croissant, a croissant in the shape of a potato, which okay, is no I'll... way in potato related categories at all. Okay, I'll have that in a pint of Guinness because this isn't racially insensitive. We don't have any Guinness here, sir. We have coffee, Irish coffee, not coffee, and water. Definitely, all that. This is why nobody likes you, Belgians. I am Belgians. not a Belgian, sir. I am a French person, and I am going to give you a Same choice thing. of either We coffee. beat you at Agincourt, and we'll beat you here. Look, sir, I do not want to cause an argument with you. Oh, look, my assistant patisserie chef, Francine, is here to give you an earful of her American talent oh for... Oh, my God. I have never met an Irish person in my life before. Oh, oh my, my God, God. you are so so cute. Now, what would you like? A water, not water, coffee, not coffee, or other beverage? I love an Irish coffee. Okay, Francine, please make an Irish coffee for this big threat. <laughs> what was that? I said say, big, big threat. N- what? The IRA is a long time ago, man. Look, sir, please, could you just no, don't raise your voice at me because I am a very important. He is a very angry listen, Frenchman. Don't I, do that. Listen, listen. Excuse me, Francine. <laughs> I have told you about disrespecting your elders, and I am French, and I am much better than you, American I'm so sorry. swine. Listen. Now, during World War One, we beat your country. World War Two, we, we sort of oh carried my it out. Goodness, Francine, we, we, please we, hand me that we pastry. Left UK. Hand me that go. pastry whilst I put but it in this there. man's face. <laughs> Ugh. Howdy. I'm a cowboy. Oh my, my god, what is this cowboy doing here? Francine, is this your boyfriend or oh something? My, my name's god. Brian Master. Brian Master? Sup, Maston. Maston. Son of a uh, famous gunslinger, John Master. Oh my goodness, this is turning into great, great one of grandson. the worst days here. Francine, you can... You say that every day, come on. Can you take over this Brian Master... And whilst I go and have a cigarette, I'm here to kill you now. I will put you in a place and take you out the door. See, Arnold does does not mess around. And Kermit the Frog will also be here very soon, we sir. We should just employ both of them as our bodyguards. Hello. Hello, Kermit. How are you doing? Oh, hi, uh, hi Francois. Uh, I'm just looking to get my uh, normal pastry fill of uh, uh, all the... the, the um, uh, what do you call them again? Oh, the, uh, the, the purple... Purple cream filled uh, filoir patustas. Uh. Oh yeah, I'm one of the pastustas. Yeah, please. Uh, and uh, uh, Kermit's uh, Kermit. Uh, I mean me. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's with uh, uh, Miss Piggy as well. Oh, Kermit, where, what's taking you so long? I don't think we need it here anymore. What is it? <laughs> Why is this Irish person in front of me? I really hate them. Watch what you're saying, you fat pig. You call me pig again, and Kermit's gonna put you straight in your place. Oh, come on, animal. You fucking do with this. Oh fat god, no, bitch. I don't have enough time to. Elmo! Hey there! Hey there, Abbott! Oh, hello there. Oh How are you god. doing? Oh my god, Elmo! This is amazing. Oh god, what's Elmo doing here? Oh, she's gonna fucking eat. Ah! I'm boss! fucking eat me! I really don't know what's going on here. Oh, Gizmo, uh, why are you here? Oh my god. Is Gizmo. Uh, oh, look, it's Animal as well. Yeah! Oh god, he's on the drums and he's playing lots of things. You look, he's playing the cymbal and... I did not know he had such a large patisserie cafe here for you to have your big Muppet gang. Oh, what was that smash? It's Somebody kicked a football through the window. Oh. <laughs> oh. I Hello, almost it's see me, Wayne, Wayne Rooney. Rooney. <laughs> yes, I can almost see. I saw that coming from a mile away, <laughs> sir. When Rooney, we do not like your kind in here, footballers. Watch it, Zlatan. Excuse oh. me. Oh, yes. yes, okay. Look, Francine, can you please start making those pastries again? You, uh... Fran- Francine, can oh, you do sorry. another fucking character now as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a nice little puppy has started humping Kermit's leg. Oh, look at that lovely puppy down there, bending and humping his leg. Oh, God, it's all over me. Well, no, please get it off, get it off me. Oh, God, no. I'm oh, I'm not too sure where this is going. 
Uh, oh god, no, neither am I. Oh, come on, you little puppy. Come over here and come into my French egg roll patisserie. Mmm, do you know what the secret ingredient is to most of my uh, savory products? Is it your mad sauce? No. Small puppies. <laughs> and cheese. From cows. Alright, everybody, I'm from uh, Area 51 and I'm shutting this improv down before it gets too out of hand. <laughs> Oh my god, it is someone from Area 51. Uh, he's come to, to close my restaurant. Uh, I'm not going to down without a fight. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Arnold is here. I'm going down without a fight. I'm going to kill you. No, I'm going to set this petitory bomb off and then press the button. And now it's beeping down and you're all going to die. Oh, oh Kirby, I love you. Liam I don't love you. Oh, and Liam Neeson's here. We're all going down. No. That was episode 10. Uh, I don't quite know what that was. Uh, it came out of nowhere, that to be magic. fair. That was magic. I think it's good to, it's it's a good challenge though doing this on a weekly basis because it makes you think on your feet. It does. Or in our case, think on our it's ass. And yeah. sitting down on my ass, which is on one of your pillows. Yeah, yes. I realize That's I'm correct. never going to be an actress after this. Ever. Well, maybe this will be like the learning curve. I realize I'm first speaking in an Irish accent. I think I, uh, like this I think they're doing all these different voices <laughs> so. uh, works quite well. So I, I think we're on the right path. Um, I think the French guy and the puppies can do quite well. Um, I think the puppies Irish guy did all right until he switched off into another fucking five characters. Yeah, like he always fucking does. <laughs> uh, I hope whoever's listening to this that you've uh, partially enjoyed this episode. Of Thanks course. for listening, Chris. Com- remember, remember, tweet me to tell me if you're all right or not. Had root grapefruit nine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, and Alicia, if you're listening to this, I'm sure you are. Um, Yay! Hello. Hey. Which one's that? Uh, Ben's. Oh, is, that, is ben. that? That's Alicia. That Alicia. Yeah, that Alicia. Hello. Did you ever meet Hi, her? Alicia. I've spoken to her on Skype. Oh, but you never met her in person. No, I haven't. Okay. Well, I have. Have you? I'm so surprised. Same. Not surprised. <gasps> So let's end it here before it gets out of control. Of course, follow us at Start Replay on Twitter. Find us at startreplay.com. Yeah. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash start replay. Yeah, so you can actually yeah. you get to us on actually YouTube forward slash start replay. Without having cameras anymore. Freya. Brilliant. Thank you. For, <laughs> if you put in the happy cameras, though, it'll still redirect you. Yeah, it still you. comes up. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure when you come on this podcast. Uh, yeah. Richard. Thank, Thank you <laughs> for the voicing. Thank you for having me as your special guest. And remember, Chris, please do tell me if you're all right. I'll, I'll say I'm all right. Worried about it otherwise. <laughs> yeah, Chris, if you're listening, uh, just fucking send me the message saying you're all right at root grapefruit nine. Otherwise, I'll fucking step on. I'm night. sorry. For I'll this. be messaging Josh to ask him to ask you if you're all right. I don't even know your last name or who you are. Just fucking tell me if you're all right, man. <laughs> Goodbye from me, Josh. <clears throat> Goodbye from Freya. Goodbye. Goodbye from Richard. Goodbye from me. Goodbye. Bye.